Welcome back. Tommy here. As always, appreciate you tuning in. So we're back to this great big tree here. With all this great deadfall down in here. The honey hole, as I've been calling it. And uh, I'm going to do a how-to video for noobs. Or three tips for numero mushroom hunters. I'm not sure what we're going to go with here yet. But one big one is when do I go? When do I hunt these guys? I'm going to tell you the time is now. Late season is always the best for that healthy yellow. And I say that because you're going to find big mushrooms. Maybe you get there too late and they're already spored out. But the thing is, they're going to be real big and they're going to be hard for you to miss. So that's a big one. I'm going to take these guys. So, how to hunt. I uh, already showed you all this great big deadfall I'm hunting here. That's a great place to start. Public hunting off any river system is where I generally start. And uh, then I just keep going until I find big deadfall. So, hunt the deadfall. Don't be afraid to walk far and hard and just anything big. If it's going down, just give it a, you know, check it out. Why not? Look, there's another one hiding right there. So yeah, wind, late season, how, river systems, deadfall, creeks, that's a big one. And um, always remember your spots. Come back early if you need to the following year. We'll be back more, with a few more tips here. We're going to keep getting at it. See what else we can't find. See him? Nibbled on the one. Nice little two piece. That one's been eaten on too, I hear. <clears throat> Since uh, we are out here hunting late season, a couple big tips. Here, bug spray or wear jeans and boots and prepare for the bugs because they're out the hotter it gets. The undergrowth gets thicker too, so a good pair of boots. Try to stay out of that nasty stuff the best you can. Water and uh, 
snacks more than you think you might need. You never know. Sometimes this uh, sweat just takes it out of you, you know? Always tell somebody where you're going, too. That's a big one. I thought we had another one. Even if you think there's people been picking it, you go late and you'll pick up their leftovers, so they get bigger and bigger and easier to find for sure. We're going to leave this pile right here, so I remember it's a hot pile, and we're going to keep looking up in here, guys. Played a game we played before. Can you guys see it? See why I'm saying go late? A little easier to get your eyes on that guy, isn't it? Oh, watch where you put your boots. What's that? That's a nice one. That's what that is. Snail living on it. Later, bud. Now he's down there. Always follow your lines up and down from where you find anything. And I like to leave my mushrooms in piles and put s some sticks down in the ground. Let's you know where a good spot is that you've been finding them. That's a cool. Lucky. Following up this hillside for my original dead find. Or dead fall find. You know what I meant. That guy all the way up here towards the top of the hill. Yeah. Out there. I just pushed through from where I found that other one. And come to find out. Sort of coyote hole. Better be careful because he's protecting a little hole here. Look at that guy. That one. And that one. And watch where you put your boots. Getting closer and closer to the car, so if I start whispering, it's because I'm not far. There's a couple. picked up one of my hot spots was laying right there so I just stepped over here and what's this don't look like the healthiest of ones but that's okay we're gonna let that one spore out like it's doing for next year because he's got a nice healthy friend right here it looks like look at that guy yeah something that'll eat there what what's that through here, I guess. That's why you late mushroom hunt. Finding those yellows pretty easy now. I'm sure 
sure there is more. Let's take our time. This is all confirmed on this hill. Oh, I think I see something. Watch where you place your boots. Don't get too excited. Oh my gosh, what is that? This is why you hunt late season. Looks like he's got a friend right there. Ooh, maybe another one hidden out back there. Let's go see this thing. This is exactly why the time to get out is now, you guys. Look at this honker. Ooh, that's a big boy. you guys this thing is solid look at that there's why you go late season biggest shroom of the year maybe I got another one that was maybe fatter but not as tall oh now I just gotta get up that hill yeah baby Kapow. that is monster Late season hunting. It's actually how I found this spot too, you guys. So there's another tip. Use a journal. You find something late, go back the next year a little earlier. All right, I'm going in for those guys. Next to the snail friend. What? Boom. search around what my second biggest one of the day probably this is right by where I've been putting my backpack too oh, that's a nice one look at that guys a couple more tips here join a foraging group and uh you know, even now, you know, when I was a noob, it would help me learn terrain and where people are finding them, when people are finding them. There'll be posts, uh, hopefully in your area. And uh, they can help confirm finds too. These do have lookalikes, just to be aware. And <clears throat> it's fun to share with like-minded people get some literature of your own that's a good tip too confirm your own finds guys don't just rely on other people's knowledge gain that knowledge firsthand i like to do both personally especially if i'm trying new mushrooms we're in it now Those are healthy guys. If you see something, slow down. Watch where you put your boots. I have a feeling I'm not done right here. Set my mushrooms right there to try to protect them a little bit. So I seen this uh, giant stem right here. I'm sure something's been picking mushrooms or eating them right here. It wasn't me. And look down the way, I take my time. Boom, I found a big friend right up in here. A deer or maybe a person missed. I don't know, I don't see nobody back here. So it's possible though, but I doubt they missed all these other ones. And I'm that one. That's a big one, you guys. That's fresh and good still. I'm sure he's got friends. We're definitely taking our time right here, you guys. And put this with those ones. Close to that big stem. And I'm going up that way towards it. Oh, these are some of the fresher hell. 
healthiest ones I've seen, guys. Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that guy. Look at that guy, guys. Alright, I gotta be quiet. Get closer and closer to the car. Yeah, baby, that's a nice one. Let's just take him. Bye with my eye. A little mushy guy. Look at there. Yeah, baby. What's this? Can't forget about that dude. Look how far it was from my pile. That's why you keep track of your thoughts. That looks like a nice one. Pinch and twist, guys. A little folded over, but real healthy. Cool. I'm gonna keep at it. On my way to clean up another pile. <clears throat> That's why you mark your spots. It's a nice young one. For how late we are out here? Oh yeah. I'll take it. Almost to it. Looky here. Oh yeah, baby. Do you got some friends, guy? I know you do got some friends. Oh yeah, take it. We're not done. Just talking about one of these on a foraging group with a fellow forager, Columbine. Real pretty flower, they always face down. They can be in different colors, but those are the ones I'm used to. My area, edible, sweet, almost like candy from what I remember. Oh yeah, the nectar is real sweet. I can see why the bees love it. Pretty cool. This is the one I was just snacking on. Here I'm snacking on flowers. Forgot what I was doing. And uh, look right over here beside me, you guys. Oh, a two piece. One in there. And one right there. View of it. Alright, now I'm just hunting above the hill where I found those two next to my flower snack. Always follow your lines. Boom. Bet there's more. Always take your time on your way out. Boom, new spot. Fresh, dark, like it. Just zipped around this dead tree where I found that one on the other side. And looky here, he's got friends. Healthy ones too, look at this. Oh yeah. It's actually the 16th, guys, I looked. Another one there. Let's get a little closer. Watch where you put your feet. Look at that guy. Yeah, baby. Alright, I'm going to get him. And their friends, I hope. tree guys. I just got on the other side here. Look at this. Oh my gosh, where did it go? Oh my gosh, you guys. Check the grass because look how well that guy hides. Oh my gosh. Look at that sucker. That's why I go late. Mark your new spots, find monsters. <clears throat> what? Right, hiding out right there. Yes. 
so pumped. I can't yell. There's people close. Getting back at it. Another good tip. Get low, guys. Wouldn't have seen that guy if I didn't get low. Get low. Don't give up on your spots. If you see something favorable, maybe you were early or late. Go back, check it out again. I don't know how many times I always said to myself, I really think this is a good area. And then boom, I went back and I always knew it was. So, and if you find one, take your time, slow down. Always slow down anyway. There's snakes out here. You don't want to roll an ankle and hurt yourself. So, take your time, guys. I guarantee there's more. I appreciate you. I hope those were some good tips. I hope that, uh, that helps anybody out that's struggling. Happy hunting in your neck of the woods. They're still out. I'll put the date somewhere in the video. This is late season. Morel hunting in Iowa. I want to say it's the 15th, 16th maybe. I don't know, I'm bad with stuff like that. The day's kind of blending together now. I've been out here so many times. Haven't been skunked, baby. Good luck. Don't give up. Push on. I was a noob once too. So, everything takes time. You'll get them. I believe in y'all. Thank you for watching. Happy hunting out there. We'll catch you next time. Okay. Signing out. Alright you guys. Get out there. No one's going to hunt your spots but you. Late mushrooms. It's the way to go. Look at this. Always check your root balls guys. I love looking at these blown over trees. Yeah baby. This is crazy. We're late, but that's okay. Get some fresh ones out of there.